All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to, I guess, make a fuel gauge and then how to use it on a EF5 vehicle. Doesn't matter whether it's ATV, UTV, or which one. Principle's all the same. The one I'm using is um, our 700 Rhino. But like I said, it doesn't matter what vehicle you're going to do exactly the same thing. So what I did is I went to AutoZone and bought me a fuel gauge. Uh, if I recall right, this fitting came on it, and this is a little drain, if you will. It's what you let your air out with. And I apologize for that light behind me there. Uh, makes me look like an angel. Hmm. Anywho, uh, so what I did is I unscrewed the fitting that was in it and I put a little barb fitting. And then we bought some 3 8 I believe. That says quarter inch. Yeah, this is quarter inch ID uh, reinforced fuel line. Attached it to here. I got a plastic T that's barbed and put it on it. And then two pieces of uh, same line. And what you do is, is you take your fuel line off your fuel rail at your throttle body. Got these quick disconnect uh, fittings, pop it off, slide your line on, use a clamp, clamp it down real good. And the same thing on, the, on your fuel tank. You'll have a, a connection there, same thing, slide your line on and really clamp down that hard. That, that's plastic, don't break it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn my key on. And you'll see the pressure built up real quick, but I'm gonna let some air out. All right, should be clear. I look like I need to. I have some old gas in this thing, I believe. Turn it off, back on. All right, that's all the air out. Now, so they tell you to check it. Most of the manufacturers just tell you to check it with the key on, but I don't find that that's accurate. Now this tells me mine is at 45 PSI, and I'm, uh, I believe the Rhino is 46.6, but on these pressures, I'm not gonna tell you because every vehicle is a little different, check with the service manual. All right, I'm gonna crank it up. It, it bounced right at 46 psi. If yours is cutting out under load of power, you want with this attached and hooked up, you want them to go drive it. And I apologize again for that light. You'll want to go drive it and watch your gauge pressure. Uh, one brute force I had here, it was firing at idle and low, low speed. But as I started picking up, it started dropping and got down to about 35 psi. Put a new fuel pump in it and uh, way it went, everything went lovely. Uh, like I said, this is kind of just a crude way to do it. It works, it's not expensive. And again, this is a Rhino, but application uh, is the same. And I apologize for my Rhino being so nasty. It does get used, not just sit around. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a call here at Hunter Works. This is Todd, 601-771-0070. Thanks.